take the pen tool and to make that little the buttonhole. All right, let's get rid of that fill. And okay, let's see. I don't know if you guys can hear the food network behind me. Apply zigzag. Uh, I don't have to do anything. My last settings were still good for this, so I'm happy with it. Click OK. And I'm going to take the whole button without the stitch and arrange it, bring it to front. And let's adjust this a little bit. Just I don't want to see the stitching on top and the bottom. I just want to see it in the front and the back of it, like so. Group it. Uh, let's drag it in. A little small holding shift. I'm going to click the corner and drag it. All right. And that's what we have. Now, I did this guy here. This is a rivet. And uh, I'm going to apply some rivets. Duplicate. Position them in the required areas. Sometimes, uh, instead of a rivet, people would use a bar tack. Um, as long as I see it there, it's acceptable because you need to have the proper uh, reinforcements. So you got it has to be designed properly. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Stroke. Uh, I'm gonna change the stroke on that on this uh, bar tack right here because I want to shrink it down a little bit. So point one, I think should be good enough. There we go. Let's bring it in, smush it, and the first position I'm gonna put a bar tack is on the stay stitch. So we're gonna duplicate it and place one on this side as well. Then two more. One on the zipper stay. Place it right here. And one right here, which is another area that holds zipper in position. Okay. It could probably be a little bit bigger. Uh, let's zoom out. Okay, I need to add some stitching, obviously, in the leg openings. And on the front of the garment, you're going to see the, uh, the inseam stitching. So with the white arrow, <coughs> direct select tool, I'm going to go ahead and select this side, copy and paste. Now, my mistake was there was an anchor point in there, too. So let's go ahead and make sure we get the anchor point that's in the middle. We don't want to get to grab the top or the bottom anchor point, just whatever is in between. Copy and paste, and now you see I have the whole thing here. Let's go ahead and position that. Get nice and close. Still has a fill, still is a solid stroke. Eye for eyedropper, get that stitch. And the fill went away. Now, I'm going to zoom in because I know this position is good, so all I have to do is replicate this position on the other side. So I'm going to select that stitch, reflect, copy. and shift and drag it over. Okay, I'm just going to close them up. And just drag it upward like so. And there we have it. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, let's do the stitching at the bottom of the legs. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that slightly. You can see this leg is a little bit longer than the other one. So, direct select, select the bottom, copy paste, position in where you want it. Let's bring it in slightly. Eyedropper, and there you go. Other side. Actually, let's go ahead and do this thing, adjust this one slightly as well. When I brought that down, by the way, I held the shift. I want to make sure it remains as straight as possible. I don't want to change the angles or anything like that. So I've, I dropped the line, the path, and let's position it. All right. So now let's take a look back. Let's take one step, one big step back. See what this looks like. 
uh, I think it looks very nice. I'm going to go ahead and change the color because I'm not going to look at, I don't want to see yellow jeans. I like to see my jeans in a denim tone. So I'm going to select the yellow, select uh, same fill color. So now that's going to select all the yellow that's in there. Double click the yellow, jump into the blues. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose like a medium blue. Click OK. And now this is what we have. Now this is this is a, a good color to use when you're printing at school because the blue is light enough for all the black stitching to show and of course denim uh, a lot of times is not in a black stitch it's uh, it's more of a champagne color stitch I'm talking traditional I'm not talking anything uh, design based or fashion really extreme I'm just going I'm talking like basic basics here you can put any color stitch you want on your garments but as far as basic standards go that's pretty much the color right there alright zoom out so this is the front and we need to create a back and the way I do the back I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste I'm not gonna sit here and draw the same thing over and over again uh, I'm gonna do whatever I can to limit my work as much as possible. So let's go ahead and select these, take them out. I'm just going to delete them. Let's get the coin pocket. Got a couple rivets that got to go. Uh, buttons got to go. And obviously the fly. All this stuff has got to go. Even the in inseam stitch has got to go. All right, let's get this waistband. All this is going to go, stitching here, stitching here, it's all gone. All right, and I'm actually going to even take this stuff out. Let's put it here for now. Belt loops, move them off to the side. So I'm going to take this and hold shift as I rotate it all the way around. Okay, let's zoom in. All right, so I'm going to take this, the waistband and the pants, and center them. And I'm going to take the corner from this one here, hold shift and drag it to the middle of this path. And I'm going to do the same on this side, to the middle of this path here. And this is what you're left with. Click find the center anchor point here. I'm going to drag it to the top. and just adjust the anchor points. It's going behind. I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's see what we have. All right, looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and select the top of the waistband with my white arrow, the direct select tool, copy and paste. And I'm going to take my eyedropper, find a stitch. Here's a stitch. And now I could just duplicate that stitch. All right, and now position it the waistband, duplicate, drag it down. All right, I'm loving it. Now, we need the center back, so I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't go center when I'm creating that center seam, I go slightly off to the left, and hold shift, click, and and I got a solid line. Well, I will have a solid line in a second after I change this to one point. There we go. And that matches the rest of my garment. All right. Now, let's go ahead and uh, draw in the stitching. Jeez, this thing keeps dragging. My mouse is very sensitive. Eyedropper. And there's a stitch in there now. Let's move it over just a little bit. And let's duplicate it. These jeans have a double double stitch. There we go. Now, I'm going to bring a ruler down. I click on the ruler, bring it down, and I want to measure out. I want to position it where I want the yokes on the side seams to end at. And that seems like a pretty good area for me. Now click, and let's come down to about here. 
and click. Now, I know that's even because my ruler tells me so. Uh, select that, again, make it a solid stroke, and now let's add the stitching. For stitching, click, select it, option, sh uh, click, shift, drag. 0.25, or you could eye drop it. Okay, let's see here. Let's bring that down. Again, and duplicate this one here. And there we go. Now take the bell loops. Here's one right here. This is going to go on this side. Okay, this is going to go on this side. And we need one for the center. Straighten it out. Okay. Now what we need to do is grab all three of these and arrange, right click, arrange, bring to front. Alrighty. Now, the only thing really left is, let's get rid of those guys. Only thing really left is, let me make sure my stitching on the bottom is in place. Yes, it is. Is a back pocket. I'm just going to make a basic back pocket. You can design the back pocket any way you like. So I'm going to use this as a guide for myself. So I'm going to click, hold shift, and come out to here. Let's uh, make that a one point. There we go. Now I'm not going to make it straight down. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. And I'm going to drag it. I like those. I like back pockets to have a little curve in them. All right. Get rid of that handlebar. Come to the center and click. And there's a shape that we'd like, or I like. Let's eye drop that. And now all I have to do is reflect it. Cancel. Let's select it. What was active was the uh, whatever I clicked with the uh, direct select. So let's go ahead and there we go. Copy and shift and drag. Okay, it's a little bit narrow. It's all right. I'm going to go to my direct select tool, select the centers, right click, average, vertical, OK, and unite it. And back to my selection tool. There we go. That's a good shape. Uh, maybe this angle could be a little bit lower. My direct select, select it, the anchor point, and drag it down a little bit. I like that. That's a nice looking pocket. Let's zoom in. Add some stitching. Okay, let's, let's come down to here. All right, I only got a few seconds left to finish this pocket. Otherwise, I will not be able to upload it. There we go. Now we'll put a stitch across the foot top okay and let's go ahead and put one more stitch this one's going to go straight because so i'm not going to put art decorate uh, pocket decoration so that will act as my pocket decoration let's get rid of the fill too there we go all right now select it all group it and there we have a pocket now zoom out uh, only thing it's missing though i don't know if you've noticed it's missing Bar tacks, copy paste. I'm going to take that bar tack, position one here, and duplicate it and put one right here. Let's put them a little bit lower so we can see them. Uh, let's try and get it slightly even. There we go. Group it, bring it in. I'm going to resize it. Let's go a little bit bigger and uh, angle it. I like to angle my pockets somewhat follow the yoke and bring them up to the yoke and let's reflect it let's make sure this is centered in the back all right now let's reflect copy hold shift and drag it okay let's zoom out and now we have a pair of jeans all right i hope this was helpful to end it now before it's too late. Alright guys, see you in a minute.